Okay, we're gonna do a mega menu in Elemental. Mega menus are basically where when you hover over a menu item, another like, it almost feels like a screen appears or drops down or is on the screen. And it might be that you've got a more intricate menu system, toggles, accordings, images, videos. You can have loads, loads of stuff there. Now the code for this comes from Maxime's Element.how website. Um, He's so clever with the stuff he comes up with, okay? So if you want the code for this, there is a link in the description. Now, this is a page, a test page that we have, and you can clearly see that it already has a header over here, a template. If you've never built a header template before, once you've got Elementor Pro, uh, when you're in WordPress, go over to templates, click add new, and what you wanna do is select a header and then give it a name. Pick it something that you will recognize in future. So like header template, mega menu, whatever you want to call it. Now when you do create one, I'm just going to quickly just do this over here. You will get options to basically use a template. You can do that if you want, but I would probably recommend that you just start from scratch a little bit what we've done over here, where what we had was a section. The section currently has uh, two columns within it. Now I am going to change this by the way. And this has got a logo in column one, and it has then got a navigation menu with number one, number two, number three. It's all fake, okay, in column two. What we're going to do is change that, and we're going to make it be one column. And the idea is, is that um, within this column, there will be an inner section. That inner section will basically be the mega menu per those navigation menu items. And I'm now going to delete of that column. So we have just one column, okay? I mean, I would probably say that when you are doing it, I've got no gap for my section. It's a full width, the minimum height. Well, you know, I'm not really bothered about the height at the moment. And uh, I've got some padding of 10, 10, 10, because I'm just bringing things in a bit. You might not want to do that. In fact, you might actually want to make it all be a zero like that. Now, this logo that we currently have here, I am going to give this some margin. So it is now away from the border. So I'm going to go with a 10, a 10 and 10. In fact, I'll just do 10 on the right as well. So in a way, that now has padding applied to the logo, but the section and column is on a full zero, zero, zero. Okay, it's fully stretched out. Great. Now, when we go over to our logo at the moment, you'll notice the logo, even though it's like that big, it stretches the full width of the screen. Look at where the pencil is, okay? It's over there, right? Look at where the pencil is. Let's now go over to the width and set this to be a custom width. Now, the logo is only as wide as I make it. So if I wanna make it wider, I can do, but I'm happy with how it is at the moment. What we will now do is add in some buttons. The buttons will be number one, number two, number three. The URL for those buttons, okay, will not take you to the page. The idea is, is that when you hover over number one, a menu appears below, and then you'll have your navigation on there to take you where you want. So we're now gonna go over and we're gonna drop in a button. And I'm just gonna drop it in over here. Now the button has gone directly underneath the logo and that is because the button is still maintaining 100% width. So all you gotta do is go to advanced where it says width and put it as custom. Can you see what it's doing? It is now allows you to almost do like the inline effect without using the inline functionality. Now you will notice that this button is kind of like right up at the top. So let's just go over to our column. I'm gonna go to layout and I'm gonna say, make the vertical alignment for this be in the center. So I've changed the title of this to be number one and I've made it a bit more weightier. I'm not here to stylize it completely. This could be services, um, uh, shop, you know, it might be categories, things like that, okay? So you can stylize it how you want. The key bit though is that I am gonna remove that link over there because this won't be a button right? You, you could in effect make it be a URL that takes them directly into the shop. There's nothing wrong with that, but it would slightly defeat the object of the mega menu, but you go with what works with you. Um, what we're now going to do though is just duplicate that like that. Okay, so duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. Now I don't want my menu items to be on the left hand side. I actually want them on the right. Now if I go over to the column where you go to horizontal line, you do have options like this where you can start to mess around with it. Now normally um, space between would have been fine to use. The only problem you have though is that it literally creates a space between like this. So 
it's nice and even, but I don't want that. So what I might have to do is increase the size of my logo. So if I go over here to advanced and where we have the width, I might now decide, right, this is going to be like 50% of the width and you can see what it's done. It's made it now be 50% of the column. I can obviously increase it as well. So I might go with like something like uh, 55, something like that. So now it's everything is moved over. Bear in mind though, um, that when you come to mobile, Mega Menu is not the best option. And I would probably recommend that when it comes to your mobile, when you obviously are now viewing it over here, I would hide all of this. I would hide that all of that components and I would just have a normal off canvas menu pop in um, or, or just a basic menu system, a toggle, whatever. But for desktops, this works well, not so much for mobile, okay, because people don't want to kind of be hovering over items, it gets messy. Anyway, we've now added in these items, okay. One thing I did forget to do, and I've, I've just realized I forgot to do it before I duplicated, where it says CSS class per button, you must add in this nav item, okay. It is really important that you add this. So I'm going to just go to the other button, just make sure you do that. So. Please remember that each of your buttons, which will be the, the menu items in effect, you must add in nav underscore item into the CSS class. Now what we're going to do is add in inner sections per button that will have the mega menu. So let's just go over to inner section. Let's pick this up and let's just drop it in to basically sit there. Now this item at the moment sits directly under menu item number one, because I was very careful with my finger, as I am always. However, if you find it doesn't go underneath, you need to rearrange it, just activate your navigator over here, and there's the inner section, and I'm now just gonna make sure it sits below the button there. If it, for instance, it might've been over here and you needed to rearrange it, just make sure you put it in the right place. Now, with regards to the inner section, I am gonna say that this is full width, um, there is no gap. Um, and then obviously inside of it, I would start to define, well, what is the gap if there was going to be a gap? So I might say um, we're going to go with about, uh, we'll go for 15 from the top. We'll go with uh, 25 from the left and right. And from the bottom, we'll go with something like, uh, we'll go with a 20 from the bottom. Okay. So as I add my items in, they will basically go where I tell them. Now, I could be really creative at this point. I could put in another nav menu that maybe now sits maybe on uh, this side over here. I could make it be a vertical nav menu. I might say that there is no break point, so it, it's always going to be vertical. I'm going to, I might move it over onto the right, left hand side, however you want to do it. So I've now just gone and dropped in some items like that. And, and you can be quite inventive with how you make this look. You can basically see what's going on. You would stylize it a bit more. You could have your menu items in the middle, in the left, the right, whatever. Maybe you've got a shop as a menu item. And when you hover over that, you know, uh, maybe you've got like a menu item for bags. You put an image of a bag and then next door to it have add to cart with the price and everything. So you could even try and get that quick conversion before people go to the particular shop, buy a ticket, stuff like that. What is important though about the inner section though is if I go to advanced and we go down to the CSS class name, where we gave the buttons nav underscore item, we must now put over here a class name as well. And we're going to call this menu underscore content like that. Okay. Now what I'm going to do for simplicity though, is I am just going to duplicate this um, uh, three times. Okay. And the second one should still have the word menu content as will the third one. However, the second one, just to get the point across over what we're doing, I'm just going to give that a completely, in fact, that's a really ugly color. Let's not go there. Let's do that. We currently got all three intersections after one another. So we've got to move it. So I'm actually just going to pick up button one and just move it to be over there. And button two will just move to be something like that. So we have button, intersection, button, intersection, button, intersection. And when you look at your website now, you can actually see them sat like that above the items. Now, if you want to have a sticky header, it would have been quite easy for you to make your original section be a sticky header. Don't do your sticky header until right at the end. Otherwise, 
if you've got lots of items like this now on your screen, as you try and scroll up and down, it makes it a bit impractical. So this is a sticky header. So let me go over to advanced. Let me go to motion effects and let me remove the sticky header. Now I can scroll up and down. Before it was locked and I could not see my third intersection, which can be painful when you're trying to edit things. And I wanna just highlight though that I've just put in a nav menu here. You could put in buttons. You could put in a subscription form. Remember, this is pure elemental, Google Maps. You know, you, you, let's say you go to the contact us bit, you could literally have your contact form there. So you haven't left the page. You just hover over it and then you move your mouse down and you fill in your details. So you can be quite inventive in what you do here. Now, what you now need to do is go back over to your original section, go to custom CSS. So we are in the parent section, okay? drop in this code and watch what happens when a minute I drop it. Everything has disappeared. Not really, it hasn't disappeared because look, when I hover over it, the items are now appearing. Okay, by the way, I changed the menu items here so you've got a bit of variation. I am now gonna make this, well, sorry. What I would have then done is gone back over to my section, gone to motion effects and made this be a, um, a sticky header if you want a sticky header. However, do you notice the height of that section? And now look at the heart, what happens when the mega menu appears. It is dissecting basically into the menu. And look, can you see it's now hitting over the logo? That does not look great. So let's go and tinker with it. Here's my big tip though, when you are doing this, if I hit the nav menu over here and I go to my first intersection, okay, so now I am on the intersection, I hover there. I am gonna add in some margin. Now if I add in a 15, like that, it is now just below. Well, it should be on par with the nav menu, but this is where you have to be careful and this catches people out. If your um, mega menu is not overlapping the main header by just one pixel, when you move your mouse down, you won't be able to do this, right? Interact, so let me just do it over here. Let me make this be a hundred, right? If I now hover over here, and I move my mouse, look, I cannot get to the item. I'm way too far. If I go in with say 20, it is okay. In fact, 20 is okay. I don't know why I said 15, but 20 works fine. So what I'll now do is go back to my main section over here, go back to my motion effect now, and I will say, make this be a sticky top. Now, if at any point, you suddenly realize that, you, you know, um, you're not, you, you want to see everything on screen because you want to edit all of the intersections and the buttons and rearrange things and whatever. Just go to your main header section, go to custom CSS and really easily, all you've got to kind of do is just kind of go right to the start and just put in another dot like that. And you'll have everything visible again, okay? Just make sure it's not a sticky header, otherwise you can't scroll up and down. I and mean, then all you gotta do is just go back over here and get rid of that dot. So let's now just update that. And let's view it on an actual page, which is this one over here. Let's just refresh it. And we will then go to preview. So there we got our logo at the top. We got number one, number two, number three. Look at this, I can go to the menu items. I could click over here. I've got a, another little bit there. Notice how it stretches the full width of the screen because we made the section and the column, the original one of the main header, the parent header, or the parent section, be full width, zero, zero, zero. I mean, I moved things inward. I mean, I haven't, st I haven't done this all completely. I mean, I would stylize it a little bit more. But look, number two, number three, you move off, you can go to number three. You know, you can go to number two. You go where you want. There is no extra plugin. There is some code, but the code isn't that difficult. Look, the code is all here. You don't need to mess around with this code, if I'm really honest. Just use the code as it is. Um, but it, but this came from Maxime. Um, he has got a tutorial on his website. This video just kind of goes through and talks you through how to create this and set it up. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'm Imran Web Squadron. I'll see you. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, with the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat, put me in the ring.